I was looking at your uh, status report that you had uh, shared today with the public, and that said 94 crores has been rolled out as incentives to over 36,000 consumers. I'm guessing this is on the demand incentives, maybe separate from what has been given out as incentives for charging stations. Could you give us a total of how much money has been spent by the Delhi government on promoting electric vehicles, on incentives for consumers, and also for setting up charging stations? I won't be having uh, the, I think, the correct data on the charging stations. But uh, more than 100 crores has been given out uh, as a demand incentive. Okay. More than 100 crores has been given out. And how much more is likely to be spent over the next three to four years? Uh, would you also look at possibly increasing the allocation for uh, electric vehicles or subsidy support for electric vehicles? Well, I think uh, sufficient subsidy is being given. And eventually, I think, uh, uh, to create a demand to push, the subsidies are good. But eventually, as I mentioned earlier also, uh, eventually, the electric vehicle has to be within the reach of, if I say, a common man, Aam uh, Admi. So that will, the drive, uh, that will drive the entire industry um, in a sustainable way. Uh, subsidies eventually, I think, uh, beyond a point. Uh, may not uh, be very healthy um, and I don't think we need to uh, further increase but uh, we will uh, keep the subsidy part till the entire industry matures and there is a good demand of the vehicles. Right. Uh, will there be any kind of refocus or repurposing or restructuring of subsidies to possibly focus on certain uh, vehicle segments rather than all of them together? Uh, see, um, our focus, uh, um, so when we talk about the pollution part, the more than uh, the four wheelers, the pollution is, I think, uh, contributed by two wheelers. And if you see our subsidy part also, uh, in, initially the first thousand uh, four wheelers had a subsidy. At the moment, uh, that 1,000 uh, vehicle part uh, subsidy is over. But we have kept the subsidy going on for two-wheelers, for e-rickshaw. So that is the primary target. Right, two-wheelers and e-rickshaws. Uh, by when do you think uh, the industry would be mature enough to do without subsidies? And I'm asking you because in 2024, the FAME subsidy, FAME 2 subsidies will expire. We will have to start thinking about FAME 3. Uh, Delhi government has a EV policy. There are certain subsidies which have been mentioned for a certain period. Uh, by when do you think we will have to start tapering down these subsidies? <laughs> That's a very difficult question. <laughs> but I think uh, when you talk about FAME 3, I think there should be a lot of uh, focus on public transport. Uh, because let's say uh, in the FAME 2 we got some subsidies on electric buses which we are introducing. Delhi government uh, has its own uh, subsidy program for induction of electric buses. But I think if uh, central government focuses on public transport, I think it will uh, go a long way. Right. Uh, the, cent the, the Delhi government's EV policy and subsidy support complements that of what is coming through the FAME subsidies. Uh, they have a fame subsidy for public transport, for two-wheelers, for, uh, for three-wheelers. Give us a sense of how the collaboration between states and the center can be improved. What kind of policy clarity or regulatory uh, interventions can be made by the center in order to increase the adoption of electric vehicle across segments? I think you've asked a very important question. Um, so. At various forums and uh, discussions, um, uh, more often uh, this question has been asked that DTC is going to go to the DTC is in losses. So my answer is always that DTC or public transport, um, you don't intend to earn profits out of it. In public transport, you always have to invest in public transport. 
the state has to invest on public transport if we want to encourage uh, public transport. Um, I won't be wrong. In fame to make kitne sare states ne electric buses liya? Hardly, I think. It did not take off. It did not take off. So that is what exactly I am saying. Fame 3 should focus on creating an environment whereby the all the states, Delhi got around uh, 300 buses uh, in Fame 2. So we have purchased, uh, procured all those uh, 300 buses. Mm -hmm. um, under the grand challenge part, uh, I think Delhi got around 900 buses. We took another uh, 600 buses and we have already placed order for 1500 electric buses. Mm -hmm. The delivery would start from uh, this year end. Mm -hmm. So I think the center must work with all the states. Uh, public transport ki jo halat hai all states mein wo bahut zyada achi nahi hai. A um, lot of uh, states I think the public transport is in financial crisis. So I think all the states they should uh, get together, discuss with the center. They must also see how electric buses can be inducted in other states also. That is what uh, would matter. Right. Uh, what, according to you, despite the incentives, despite uh, ESL, CESL tenders, why was uh, the induction of electric buses in public transport in different states uh, very, very slow to take off? What, according to you, were some of the issues uh, in the last two to three years, which must be ironed out? So I think the first uh, part is the political commitment, that the political executive must be convinced and there should be absolute clarity that they want to induct because it is not just a simple induction of one bus. You have to create the entire environment. For example, um, when we started talking about induction of electric buses, the most important point was to electrify the depot. Mm -hmm. Over the last two years, we have worked really hard. And we are in the process of electrifying all our depots. Mm -hmm. I think 12, 13 depots we have already electrified, 55, uh, another 55 depots are in the uh, pipeline, but for electrifying one single depot, it is a process of almost one and a half years, mm -hmm. which I also never realized. I didn't know that we had to create an electric uh, depot first, so we had to say that we had to go to Discom and go to the charging station. But for one depot for electrification, आप डिस्कॉम जो पावर सप्लाई कर रहा है उसको बुलाएंगे उसको बोलेंगे प्लीज सी कि ये फिजिबल है या नहीं है आपका ग्रेड कहां पर है उसके बाद फिर कितने किलोमीटर वो पावर केबल पूरा सड़क खोद के उसको डालना है उसके रेस्टोरेशन चार्जेस आई स्टिल रिमेंबर फॉर क्रिएटिंग इलेक्ट्रिक डिपो एट रोहिणी वी स्पेंड मोर देन 100 करोड़ इट्स नॉट अ स्मॉल अमाउंट so that is why I am saying the first and foremost is the commitment of the political executive, the, the uh, political uh, setup. Mm -hmm. For example, when I had a word with Honorable CM Arvind Kejriwal, mm -hmm. ki, sir, we electric buses induct karni hai, aap se discuss hua tha. And we need extra fund. In fact, when this matter came, came up in the, in the cabinet, so to almost 500 crore rupees tha uska electric uh, for to electrify the depots so usme hua ki ye to bahut zyada paisa hai i said sir this is the starting we need these funds to so that we can start uh, electrifying the depots because agar hum agar hum 1.5 saal pehle depots ka electrification start nahi karte to 300 buses jo abhi induct ho rahi hain ye bhi induct nahi hoti so it is a full i think uh, the entire ecosystem, the entire environment has to be created if we have to induct electric buses. So 24% of your new bus fleet is electric right now. By when do you think uh, you will be able to convert Delhi's entire fleet of buses to electric? So I think we have set up a very aggressive target again that by uh, I think 25, 2025 are 75% of the fleet would be electric. Okay, and when it comes to uh, cab aggregators, how important is that when it comes to uh, EV adoption? So we have again set up a very aggressive target. 
the cap aggregators uh, may not be very happy with us, but when we talk about the larger picture, um, I'm forgetting the exact uh, target. I think it is 25% of the fleet uh, by, I think, the next uh, one year. I don't, I'm not remembering the exact. Um, and I think uh, maybe another two, three years, 50% of the fleet would have to be electric. Right. Uh, now, coming to my uh, final set of questions, Mr. Gelot, give us a sense, if we were to ask you that today we're talking about milestones achieved uh, over two years with the EV policy, uh, where would you like Delhi's EV ecosystem to be in the next two years? So, if you can share some numbers that you have in mind, some uh, about the number of two-wheelers on the roads, number of buses on the road, number of three-wheelers, cars. So if you ask uh, my personal wish, uh, my dream would be that any vehicle which I see on Delhi roads should be electric. Uh, so we have a population of, I think, uh, maybe more than one crore vehicles. And uh, if you talk about the active, maybe around uh, 80 lakh uh, vehicles on Delhi roads. So that is my dream that every vehicle which I see, every four-wheeler, every two-wheeler, every bus, uh, any other, uh, in fact, I would say why not uh, the commercial vehicles also, maybe uh, uh, trucks, I think, uh, I'll be the happiest uh, person and the happiest uh, transport minister also. And as Honorable CM has always uh, uh, said that we will uh, go on inducting uh, electric buses henceforth. We will keep uh, pushing uh, the sale of uh, electric vehicles. Um, I think it will be very difficult to quantify in numbers, but I think if we are to achieve that 25% target, um, I think uh, that will be very satisfying.